What's up guys, KSW TV here back with a brand new video and a new mic. We're up in the quality of the videos now. I'm going to bring you a new video and we're going to talk about Raheem Sterling. So right now there is no actual Manchester City player being talked about as much as Raheem Sterling is being talked about right now. Raheem Sterling joined Man City in July of 2015 on a record breaking transfer for any English player for just under 50 million pounds, which was so, so much money back in those days. And since joining, he's gotten 201 goal contributions in 292 matches, which would be 114 goals and 87 assists, which is world-class numbers for any player. If we're talking about players that are getting that amount of numbers for 50 million uh, pounds, that is compared to Sergio Aguero. That's the type of signing Raheem Sterling is. The numbers to game ratio, staying at the club for more than five years and just giving us everything you can possibly give to the club and bring us new successes, reaching the Champions League final, winning five Premier Leagues in 10 years, winning the Carabao Cup multiple times, FA Cups. You know, he's brought everything that Man City could possibly want from a new signing. Now, I've got a source right here from Moloch Esmira saying, Raheem Sterling is angry at Man City for the attempts of offering him to Tottenham in part of an exchange for Harry Kane. Sterling was open to talks about an extended deal at the Etihad, despite being become frustrated with his lack of game time towards the end of the season. So we'll start off with the back end of this source. His playing time has been reduced a lot compared to what he's used to because his form, especially throughout the whole season, but especially towards that back end of the season, when it really counted, we needed like we needed perfection from our players. And Raheem Sterling just wasn't cutting the mustard last season. Don't get me wrong, he's been here for six seasons now and out of those six seasons, he's given us five and a quarter of just world-class performances. But just that back end to that three quarters of that season that just went, it was horrible from Raheem Sterling, not just visually, but mentally. It was looking tough on him as well. He wasn't dribbling like he used to. He was doing everything else except scoring and dribbling pretty much. He was running off the ball very well, getting into spaces really well, but it was just that lack of finishing, um, that lack of clinicalness that we needed from Raheem Sterling, and his passing and dribbling was pretty average to say the least. But I would be angry if I was Raheem Sterling. If I've come from Liverpool for a record transfer fee and put the numbers that I have been doing for arguably the best club in England the last decade, why would I want to be swapped out for Harry Kane to Tottenham Hotspur, a club that hasn't even got European uh, club football for next season? I'm pretty sure if that's off the top of my head. But why would Raheem Sterling want to play for Tottenham Hotspur? It's a club in disarray. They're losing their best player maybe this year or next season in Harry Kane. And once they lose Harry Kane, that goes from scraping Europa League to just not making Europa League to... Holy crap, we're at the bottom end of this table. So I'm with Raheem Sterling on that one. I would not want to go to Tottenham Hotspur, that's for sure. And it also says he was open to talks about an extended deal. And I'm also open to putting Raheem Sterling on a maybe a one, two year extension because personally, I feel like he'll find his form next year. He's finding his form at this Euro 2020 competition. Two goals in four matches for England. Um, yeah, they might've been tap-ins, but you know, usually Raheem Sterling doesn't even score tap-ins uh, last season. So he's finding his form again. He's getting back to goal scoring. Um, as usual, he's running off the ball, finding holes in space and beating the man for pace. He's obviously, he's still got that and that's his best attribute. But just the finishing, as I said, and that dribbling and passing he needs to work on in this Euro 2020s. And when he finds that form, I'm, I'm happy to welcome Raheem back into the starting 11 at Man City with open arms. If Raheem Sterling gets back on form, that is 20 plus goals a season in all competitions, plus the 5-10 assists that he can bring as well, um, apart from the goal scoring, and also the running off the ball um, just makes that season even better if he finds his form. So I'm not Sterling out. I'm Sterling in. I'm supporting Sterling. I want him to find his form again. And you know, if you've got a Raheem Sterling in your team on form, you've got an absolute relentless menace running around the field, trying to get the ball, trying to score, trying to give it an assist. Just to conclude on Raheem Sterling, I feel like he deserves the respect 
or he should be getting the respect he deserves. Um, if you look at his stats, 20 plus goals every Premier League season apart from last. Um, a lot of assists in there too. Big moments for the club. Um, amazing running off the ball. He is loved in the dressing rooms, not just by Pep, but other players in there. Very friendly, very positive, vibrant player in the sheds, I'm sure. And he's been there for six years, so he's clearly doing something right. He's not a shit player. He plays for Manchester City, a team that went to the Champions League final last year. Where should he go from here? Well, Raheem Sterling obviously needs to find his form in the Euros, as I said before. Hopefully lead his team to a Euro final. Um, or winning that Euro final. Uh, I'd like to see one or two more goals out of him in this competition or an assist um, and just keep that great performances. His heat map is lit up. He's running his guts out. Um, so yeah, form in the Euros and then just prove to Pep in the preseason, preseason games, training, why he should not be replaced by Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, um, Harry Kane, all these other players that are being mentioned around Raheem Sterling um, regarding swap deals or moving him off to make way for better players. But that was just my quick thoughts on Raheem Sterling. Raheem in, not Raheem out. Man City, we've got to get behind Raheem Sterling because he is Man City now. He's one of us. He's spent over half a decade at the club and he's been in some of the best memories we have seen, um, not just in recent history, but in club history. The success we've got over the last decade is not due to other players, but him as well. You know what I mean? He has been helping the team get better and better. And every single year we do get better and better. We're, we're, we're kicking off more records, more accomplishments, and kicking more goals than ever before. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to leave a like and comment, that'd be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back with my next video. As we see, we're up in the quality of the videos. Got a new mic. Hopefully we'll get a new face cam next, and then we go on from there. But as I said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.